I'm Charles. And this is Sai, and we're creating a bridge between senses. Uh, we wanted to investigate how blind people use their other senses, and if they can use their senses to a heightened ability um, than the regular able-sighted person. Um, we were thinking that we could model um, compensation mechanisms in blind people by comparing their response and accuracy um, times um, when eating fruits um, and comparing that to the response and accuracy of an able-sided person. We did this by going to Vision Australia with one of our teachers and it was a great experience. We got to see a different side about blind people which we were really stereotypical at first. And we recorded both of both experiments and got a really good understanding of how they both understood, uh, understood the senses and how well they adapted to what we asked them. And we did the exact same thing with able-sided people, but they were blindfolded. And we saw a completely different side of how they operated and understood the food. So um, comparing with the blind people and the able-sided people, we could see a huge difference of how they understood the food or how long they took to identify the food. So the able-sided people were almost um, two seconds slower um, in their response times on average uh, for identifying a set um, list of fruits. Yeah, and to add on with this, we also did a brain dissection to just show how um, different senses in the brain are connected to the, the taste and sight, which we're doing. And we, it was a great experience. We got to see like the optical nerve and the cerebellum. We showed different, different senses and how that, how that relates to sensory deprivation and how that relates to um, our blind people and our able-sided people and how, that, how well they test is if one sense is damaged or gone, how the other senses will be more heightened and more effective compared to the able-sided people.